Hi there, good friends, and welcome to episode 23 of the Tutorial Sect. I'm Icon, and today's main topic is going to be Bangju's Breakthrough. So, we're going to create a first tier 1 Golden Core. I'm absolutely sure that this will be doable. She is now only waiting for the right day of the season. We already got the necessary preparations done. She's fully cultivated for that state and we're going to enjoy ourselves with that. In the last episode I also uncovered the Poison Dragon Lake which yields us a which yields a source of Wicked Flux which will be super useful in the uh, next time as well. But the first thing that I want to do is I want to load Bangju with a nice amount of inspiration so let's see how much do we have here in our vicinity. Not that insanely much as I see right now. Well, Central Plain is uh, puny. Desert is also puny. Wild South is deteriorating, but that was uh, expectable because we don't do any charity down there. So yeah, City of Abundance is with its uh, 473k. Well, not really enough for my taste, but well, we gotta take what we have. I'm quite happy that we got ourselves so far. Okay, now spirit stones, banned ones? Why the heck? So with these experience points, we're going to learn as many of the necessary skills as possible. I don't know how many we will learn, we will be able to learn, but I hope it will going to be a lot. So there's the auction. Well, with only 2,000 spirit stones in my pocket, I don't feel too eager to gamble at the auction right now, honestly. That's just not too too powerful. So, oh dear. We're also not powerful enough yet to, to get ourselves a properly refined set of medicine, or are we? Ah, let's try something. And Halion over to the riverbank plains and grab some more inspiration. And Ruji is going to try and uh, gather some wicked flux for us. And we're being in, we're being under attack. Oh, the first time that they come is three. So, but as long as it's only mere chi, uh, chi shapers, I don't even need to send anybody except for my pet because honestly they're just not strong enough to even scratch his pelt you see there wait a sec what's happening there so there's uh aggressive animals here okay just wondered if those uh dudes were actually attacking me so, yeah, it might take a while until your pet has killed those things. But, uh, well, at the end of the day, as long as they are not able to hurt your pet, it doesn't matter. But in the long run, honestly, I do prefer to have a couple of uh, cultivators in town that are just able to intervene here so it doesn't take that long. Because I always get rather nervous if there's such a uh, lengthy onslaught in my, in my area there. I can't really focus on other things while stuff like that is happening. And I'm constantly... Um, constantly on edge to see if somebody's breaking through or uh, or attacking my sect of, uh, uh, on some other area, you know. So, uh, thanks to the comment section, I've learned that these things are called secret bodies. So, the, the techniques, or the blueprints as I call them, are called secret bodies. And I also learned that we can also remold without any essence. So, uh, thanks for the comments there. And uh, we're going to continue here until our body cultivator is also able to do his first breakthrough. Which is quite exciting, if I might say so. So meanwhile, we're extracting the enemies and pulling them over 
to the Hellgate chamber. And now Halion is going to learn another skill, and that's the... Uh, There we go. Because spiritual spiritual breath chant is so, so important. When you want to enchant things or uh, enhance things, but overall, it seems like I really do not have enough uh, everything here. So I need to acquire more belief. Here's forty thousand lying around. Ugh. Luckily, City of Abundance will be produ producing uh, belief rather quickly. Thing is, I'm trying to acquire enough inspiration for Halion to uh, bolster Bangju's breakthrough positively. Okay. Ruji doesn't uh, manage to get there. Dang. Alright. So, let's see. Bangju, is she. She's nobody's uh, student so far. So, let's wait until Halion is back in town. And we're going to teach some skills via, via the mentorship program. Because that's uh, going to be a good um, discount on the on these skills. So we're going to teach things. So max G modifier, max G modifier, artifacts. No, 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 I'm not interested in that. Max G modifier, Max G modifier. These things are the most important things there. Perception, G sense. G sense is also important. Alright, there we go. We can also teach derivative calculation and spiritual breath chant. So, no, that's not too interesting, but these are important to me. Alright, so Bangju is getting enhanced here, and I really hope that I got enough skill points left for Hellion now to learn Spectre Refining. Please, that would be really, really nasty if I would need another trip to learn Spectre Refining. And, uh, okay, so, it's 300, 300 points, okay, so. Off to practice you go. Oh dear. No, not practice, Hellion. No, don't practice on your bed. Need to assign these things again. Alright, there we go. Just waiting for the necessary inspiration to allocate here. It's the easiest way to do. Because if it's really just 300 points, there's uh, that'd, that'd be ridiculous. Yep. And cancel that. And now, oh, finally the Wicked Flux has dropped. So, the next thing we'll do is we're going to do spiritual breath chants here in this chamber. Breathe in the aroma of the dragon feces and uh, check out the regeneration we will gain. We will reach there 775 chi per second. Boom. The exquisitely dressed approached the agent's place crying and said her child has gone missing. So, this is one of those uh, events where I have no idea. But I think social might be appealing too. Let's uh, try that. Alright. So while she's breathing in the aroma. Okay, so that's that. And now we're going to spec to refine some medicine. We're going to spec to refine that earth flux. There we go. And now the next thing we do, send her back to spiritual breath chanting. 
And that's what we're going to do now for quite some time. Meanwhile, let's check out. She has 941k experience. That's really good. So Bangju is now going to digest all the Max Chi manuals that our sect has in store. So I I want to skip out everything which is uh, going uh, with uh, artifacts, which because that's just not interesting. So except for the compass doctrine. Well, breakthrough incantation. I really like that one too because it's uh, a mood increaser, which just helps. So self nourishment. Cultivation speed bonus, yeah, let's take that too. And uh, the reformed lifeblood skill is a little bit uh, tricky. It gives you a permanent injury on the heart, but increases your uh, max chi by a lot. It's, uh, it's one of those skills which I would say only pick it if your character has a high constitution, because you will be in permanent pain due to that. And uh, people with low constitution have quite some trouble with uh, working normally then. So looks like that's all we got here. Find that hard to believe, but maybe I had the wrong selection there. Okay, so social was not correct. Let's try intelligence next time. So he now has lost all his stamina. So we need to stop him. We need to stop remolding now for a moment. So enhance flesh. But the good news is our body is now ready for the breakthrough. Oh dear, I overdid it a little bit, I guess. Oh boy. Well, the good news is uh, I, I really don't uh, lose anything, or uh, there's nothing bad with that. It's just the attack power increasing massively. So we can now break through here, and, uh, well, Chi Density. Can we actually pick one of those chambers here? Yeah. There's a 50% chance of breakthroughing there, okay. So, Bangju is going to study there as soon as she's uh, back on her feet. And Helion is going to Spectre refine that medicine up to level 12. There we go. And level 12 items have this orange... Uh, thing there, going on for themselves. So, well, can't breathe in the atmosphere right now, because there's somebody breakthroughing there, but that's okay. The most important thing is the, uh, is the flux anyways. So let's see. He did. Okay, so we did gain a couple of whoops, new uh, things there, and we also gained a new remold spell and a new secret body, or two secret bodies actually. So let's check those out. We gained the directional concord measure, and as you see here, this one goes into the uh, forearm muscles. And needs one, two, one, two, wait a sec. So, yeah, uh, it needs some different uh, things. And if you would have had too many different upgrades, you would not be able to learn these skills anymore. That's why I. Uh, pointed out so so definitely that you should not pick things if you don't know what you're doing. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you don't need my advice here anyways, but if you're new to all this, only go uh, according to the recipes. Now, what's new is that we can also learn to remold bones, and we also learned the remold of eight acupoints. 
So this equals to using the same thing eight, eight times in a row. So, and we get a guaranteed rare evolution. This is basically a uh, compact version of the Acupoint remold to save you some time. And uh, you don't need to do it uh, that, that, you don't need to do that much manually. So we're going to Spiritual Breath Chant here anyways. Because we're not done yet. So Bangju is now at a uh, lazy 6.9k. Let's see if there's anything I have overlooked except for the smelting heart thing. So Spirit Ravel is something that I really want to have. And beyond that, oh, perception increase, I don't know. This will, this will be things I will only take if I need to. But I'm pretty sure we actually did pick everything we could. So let's take the records of the Perfect Warrior too, because base mental state bonuses are just that good. I don't want to say no to any of those because they are just that valuable. Base mood value, that's not the same. But cultivation speed bonus, you know why not. Mental state. Don't uh, confuse mental state with mood value. Mood is not as interesting as mental state. Mental state is the one with the uh, which goes which uh, flows in that globe. This is what you actually look for if you want to uh, enhance your um, cultivation time. So study these. And then the rest of the things she can do will be eatable. Okay, Hellion can now do more Spectre Refining. We already Spectre Refined the Earth Flux, but now we got the Wicked Flux. The Wicked Flux is a little bit of a different, different thing. The Wicked Flux behaves sim, uh, quite similar to the Earth Flux. It increases your maximum Chi, but it has as a downside that it will decrease your your mood permanently or your maximum mood or mental state <laughs> I mixed it up myself. So it decreases your maximum mental state. So after eating a uh, a one of these uh, wicked fluxes, you will be not able to reach 100 anymore. You will be only able to reach 90 or 85. I I forgot if it was uh, minus 10 or minus 50. That's where these wonderful um, skills come in play, which increase your base mental state, because they make it so that you can just uh, keep that. And a Yao guy is pleading for help. Wonderful. What's your chi sentence? No, oh, it's bad. Dang it. Okay, well... Eh, not gonna take it. So the first uh, really good um, Yao guy cultivator person I will pick up for sure. So meanwhile, Halion will now upgrade all the necessary medicines for the breakthrough here. So we're going to upgrade the uh, Earth Fluxes, the Wicked Flux, the Ganoderma, and the Red Ginseng. Yeah, it's a lot of things, but it's so much worth it, you know. Meanwhile, I'm trying to acquire a couple more of those. So the thing about the Red Ginseng here is it is only a tier 6 item, so yeah. It will take a couple of refinings more. So now it's only level 8, and yeah, you get the idea. We, we got to do this a couple of times. Meanwhile, our good friend uh, Ching Ching, or however you want to call him, is uh, regaining his stamina. Stamina regain takes a while, and it's basically your limit for uh, body cultivation, because once you run out of stamina, you can't remold your body anymore. So, that's just a wee bit uncomfortable. So, she, she doesn't have any artifact yet? What kind of a uh, monster am I? So, now Alien is in town, so... We're going to bring her into this combat. Make a uh, short work of this uh, of this one here. Here we go. So for wait a sec. So for some odd reason, I can't. Uh, now I can't select them. I don't know why this is uh, 
happening so often, but it does happen that I can't select them properly together. Okay, now Bangju is at 6.9k, and we will keep enhancing those uh, medicines. And now the worst thing has happened to yeah, me. So when you have free time between breakthroughs of your uh, cultivators, you can just use that time to prepare those medicines for the next breakthrough. Because I personally love to have one tier 12 of each type to uh, feed to my cultivators. So they can have a pretty nice maximum chi. There we go, that's that. Of course, you could try and overdo it and, uh, in, and and chant more pieces of medicine like that. But at the end of the day, I learned that one dosage of a tier 12 medicine is okay. There are more effective ways of increasing your, uh, your outcome there. So, the last thing we need to enchant is a Ganoderma. Wait a sec. Am I out of Ganoderma? No. Here. Sorry. I'd be very surprised if I ever ran out of that stuff. Okay. And the more powerful your sect grows, the easier these enchantings will grow. Because right now I am working with a rather low amount of chi in general. Like we we need to do we need to do the spiritual breath chant way too often. When you are at a uh, score of 60,000, 60, it's not that easy, but when you're at a score of 200 uh, and uh, 1,000 or more, you can do a lot more enchantings at once, but, you know, we are not right now, so... Oh, there's the strange little elf thingy. So, let's see. Where is he going today? There he is. There, 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 there. There. So I can't remember. I think, yeah, here. I already had one. Die, you little filthy elf. Okay, maybe not. It's just a, spir a festive spirit, and we, we take it down with fireworks. I don't know what I should think about that. I think if I were Ch Chinese, I would know what all this means. I'm pretty sure. So... Okay. Now, off to our last uh, Spectre Refining. And we finally did it. Alright, so Bangju has now... will now feast. One of these, one of those, one of that, and one of that. There we go. And let's top that off with two more servings of these medicines in their base state. Okay. And we gain dumplings, a new firecracker, Angus soul gems, sprout pills, shield pills. Shield pills are good. So. She's now at a uh, mere amount of 13,000 uh, maximum chi. Nothing special. So we just need to re regenerate that and then let's see how far this will take her. I can tell that this will be a quite nice amount of... Uh, this is a quite nice amount of chi. Alright, it's already day 9, so we're also at, this, uh, at the right time of the year. The only thing I'm still missing is the weather. So, we're going to head over to City of Abundance one more time. And we're going to acquire enough experience to manipulate the weather one more time. Because it's just that important. The weather miracle just does so much in terms of uh, success. I don't want to skip out on that. So, let's see. Oh, and she has a very, very bad comp compatibility towards her law, so we might change that as well. So, let's see. She would need more perception. 
that's where she's really bad. Okay. So let's see. Study. I'm pretty sure I might have some skills now to to change that. So perception ten percent decreases perception. No, but well, this will help us somewhat. So more earthquake help. Oh yeah, this will be the moment where we finally got ourselves there. Some finished disaster relief. Okay, so now her law fit is, well, not really that much better, sadly, but I don't think I got any uh, stat increasers yet, so it's about time that I start seeing the auction. The auction is a spot where I can, where you can acquire the most medicines quite often, especially stat increasers are easily acquirable there. Sadly, this time, well, okay, this will, this will ruin our uh, result a wee bit, but okay. too bad. All right, now what we're going to need is some fairy weather, and that's clear skies. I hope she has enough inspiration now. So, timely rain, no, 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 to that, good wind, wait a sec, that might be what I'm actually looking for, it's a fire elemental uh, weather, there was also clear skies, oh boy. This is the point where I really hate the game a bit, because it's uh, th those miracles are so hard to ca to to keep track of. There's so many different things happening there, and uh, they all look so similar. Cloud displaying here, sunny weather. So. If I remember correctly, this one is just the stronger variant, because there's uh, two different uh, severities of weather. There's one weather which gives you uh, only a two pip bonus, and the other weather gives you a four pip bonus. And we got more followers in Mount Sal. So, let's see. Your breakthrough will be done. So, Earth. Earth requires a balanced yin yang. So, Twilight is your uh, is your favorite uh, thing. So, either the break of dawn or dusk. Okay. Got it. So, let's see. Here. Yin Yang is positive at 9. Okay, it's 7 p.m. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be good at uh, 7 a.m. too. So let's do the, the ritual. And. Yeah, weather is positive. And, oh man, sadly, that's merely a tier 2 quality. Wait a sec. Element is only at two stars. Oh, okay, we need to remove those. They are too close. Okay. That's what's so wrong there. Now the element is correct, but sadly... Sadly, we can't get further than a tier two quality. Oh, man. That's sad. That's really sad. I really thought we would get further than that, but with such a law, with such a low fit to your law, it's just not good. But at the end of the day, she will be way more useful for the sect now than before, so that's okay. So, 
Doesn't look like she's going to make tier two here. Honestly. Nope. So that's uh, how important the... Uh, that's how important the stats of your cultivators are. That's a shame, but I don't mind. She's going to be reborn anyways, so... For now, I'm just a little bit sad that we invested so many resources there and only got such a uh, mediocre result in return. That's, uh, that's a little bit unexpected there. But, well, it's not that horrible. We will have more than enough tier 1 golden cores later. When we are more powerful than that. Here it was only because we would need to prepare our reborn people better the next time. But that's what we're going to do. That's fine. So we have another merchant coming in. And uh, speaking about preparations, I want to go for... Oh, forming pill. Wisdom. Let's do, take these. I want to prepare my new recruits now the next time uh, a lot better. So we're going to increase their stats more thoroughly. And now that I got enough money, I will also buy myself some stat increasing medicines, which we kind of like uh, skipped completely here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pool around with the uh, merchant here between those two videos. I thank you guys so much for watching. It's been my pleasure. We're going to see each other in the next episode when I haven't fully decided yet what's uh, going to be the next uh, topic. Feel free to drop me your, uh, in, drop me some in the comment section down below. If you have any ideas, I'd be more than happy. Beyond that, leave a thumbs up on that series to make it more visible and check out my channel where I do daily videos. I'd be really, really happy to see you guys there subscribing and turning on the notification bell. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.